Adiyom. Welcome to our next Bhagavad Gita lesson. Let's start by settling in with a slow, deep breath. Adiyom Tatsa. Om Shanti. This is episode number 223, entitled, Why Am I Holding the Door for You? And we're on the sixth verse of the fifth chapter. It goes, Renunciation is indeed difficult to perfect without karma yoga, mighty Arjuna. But the ones who are established in meditation and purified by karma yoga before long realize that they are none other than Brahman. As we know, it's it's hard to renounce something that we f when we feel that we're denying ourselves a thing that in truth we really want. It's called oppression. Some self-denial can be useful on the path. In yogic terms, it's called choosing shreyas over prayas, a long-term benefit over a passing pleasure. But ideally, we naturally let go of stuff as we recognize we don't need it to be fulfilled. I don't need this steak to be strong and healthy. I don't need this cigarette to relax. I don't need this job title to know my self-worth. I don't need a thank you to validate that I did the right thing. In the last example, we can see the connection that Sri Krishna is making between renunciation and karma yoga. If renunciation, or what he's calling sannyasa, comes from the recognition that I don't need to look outside for my fulfillment, karma yoga is acting upon that recognition. If I hold the door for someone and I do feel a need for a thank you, then it's an opportunity to probe within and decide if that's true or not. That's the, the beauty of practicing karma yoga. It's in this holding of the door for someone uh, that is acting in the world in an attempt to practice karma yoga that we learn the nature of the mind. One who is very sincere about this learning process will add meditation to their attempts at karma yoga. As Krishna says here, this combination quickly purifies the mind, meditation and karma yoga. When the mind is purified, it allows our consciousness to disentangle from the mind. Detachment from the mind and, and renunciation or sannyasa are synonymous. It's detachment from the mind that makes one a sannyasin not detachment from the world. For reflection, if you're starting to feel uh, uh, drawn toward pulling back from the world and leading a more solitary life, make sure that you first learn to live harmoniously with others that we get from karma yoga, and you learn to remain poised to the various intense challenges that life inevitably come to us. Thanks for joining. See you soon. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.